you are now listening to or watching the It Takes All Kinds podcast. Yeah, and if you aren't, you can head over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and listen to us now, or head on over to Drib on YouTube and watch the video version as well. And if you'd like to stay up to date on when we're releasing a new episode or any other fun information about the podcast, you can give us a follow on Instagram at It Takes All Kinds Podcast and on Twitter at ITAC Podcast. That's I T A K Podcast. Without saying much else, we hope you enjoy this episode. Welcome to the It Takes All Kinds podcast. I'm Kip Dynamite. I'm joined here by Christopher Moltisanti. What's up? How you doing? And How you doing, Kip? It's nice to meet you, Kip. Nice to meet you, too. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet it's you, a pleasure too, to meet you. Nice Be to meet careful. You too. Be careful when you shake in my hand, because when you just shook my hand a second ago, it fucking hurt. Okay? Won't happen again, You got to be careful. You better not. Won't happen because again. I'll take your fucking hand, and I'll put it up your ass. Don't fucking play with me. You got it, Mr. Moltisanti. I got fucking jumped last night. Okay? Do you know who they were? No. Do you think? Do you do you do you honestly think I'd be here if I knew who they were, can doing this fucking podcast with you? I can never be too sure, Mr. Multisanti. Oh. In the in the meantime, uh, do you mind making some scary sick beats with me for Halloween? Absolutely. You want some Halloween beats? Yes. You know what, Kip? I think I'd like that a lot. You ready to do this? Always. Sick, Christopher. Just something I've been working on for a little while. I'm glad you could, uh, glad you could help out with me, and I, uh, glad we could do this podcast we together. Co- we could definitely got to do a collab in the future. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm definitely, I'm ready to make some music. I'm, you know, trying to make some moves into Hollywood, and I, I think, uh, I could really see a music career for myself if I'm being honest. You're right. Hollywood's big for music. It's big. You know what? It's huge. And I've always said that. I've always said that. T. I mean, K. And I'm um, just, you know, I think I think you got some talent, and I think you can really do some cool stuff with that machine over there. It's I pretty really cool. Appreciate Mr. Multisanti. Yeah. Anytime. Shedding my layers. I got to put on some layers. Hold on, let me put on my layers. 
on. Let me put on my. Oh, I didn't realize you had changed the ISO on that. Yeah, dude, that's how you do it. Sorry. Everybody, it's finally Halloween. <sighs> it's finally the. Halloween it's episode. Halloween. <laughs> Did you guys really think that you were hearing an episode from Kip Roland Dynamite and Christopher Montesanti? I think I, I think we did a good job. I think we fooled everyone, really. Yeah, I think everybody was tuning in expecting Christopher Montesanti and Kip Dynamite. They too. were like, this is a, what is it, a crossover? Yeah, what is this, a crossover episode? Yeah, that's a that's also a BoJack Horseman reference, but what is this, a crossover episode? Bojack Horseman restroom. <laughs> yeah, Bojack Horseman restroom, Guys, man. Guys, it is finally Halloween. The moment we have all been waiting for. Today is Halloween. Yeah. Just kidding. Did you say what? Yeah. Did Kip? Do you know if Kip said what days we were no, doing this? No, you know he was busy thinking about LaFonda. So that's true. Do you want to say? So what? we're actually. Um, well, they recorded this episode. <laughs> uh, they, he was supposed to say this, but they uh, they're recording Fuck this up. episode on. Uh, October 22nd, which is a Friday, and you'll be hearing this a week from now on October 29th. Super duper early recording, and Gavin, would you like to say why we're recording so early? I have tech week. Gavin has tech week. It's good for Gavin. absolutely no time on my hands, considering I have a math class at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. I don't think we could record <laughs> That's true. After ten o'clock, I get I get done with theater at ten o'clock on Monday. So that's true. Yeah. So Gavin and I, we put our heads together and we decided that Friday was the best day. Friday's the best day. And we're, well, we're first of all, I was going to ask you. Uh-huh. I'm going to interrupt you. Uh-huh. My show. Uh huh. Are you doing? Uh-huh. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Are you like open for business? I have work. What time do you have work? Two to ten thirty. Okay, that's good. I was hoping you had like time to sleep in tomorrow. No. Why not? I have a uh, rehearsal from 10 to 12. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. I was worried you were going to say that. Well, I mean, it's not I can sleep horrible. in Sunday, though. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Do you guys start later? Uh, no, I still have work. I thought you got off for that. No, I don't have to go in tomorrow. Or I don't have to go in tomorrow. Oh, that's for, good. For theater. That's so. good. I'm glad that you at least get some time off. Yeah. For your health. Yes. But yeah, so we are recording astronomically early we literally just put up an episode today by the way thank you for yeah. posting everything for that yeah um, you didn't have to remind me today i didn't let's see if i have to remind you to put the songs up or not um yeah so we're recording literally a week in advanced for the ho- this is the halloween special this is the halloween this special. is the halloween this is the halloween special special i'm just getting prepped for uh some segments because we got folks Folks, we got a lot planned for this episode. Oh, my God. Shit, I left the window open. We've got a lot planned for this episode. So get out your knife and dagger. Get your dagger out. Why can't I open this in a new tab? (laughs) That's dark noise. Are you scared yet? I'm pissing my pants because I'm so scared. God, I could just fall asleep right here. We have so many things planned for today. And we are just so excited to share them with you. They're all Halloween related. Everything we're going to do from here on out is Halloween related for the rest of the year. (laughs) Let's see how long we can keep Halloween going. Let's just do Halloween for the rest of the year. This is not the Halloween podcast. I'd like to announce today. It just restarted that like today perfect, perfect timing. Is the not the last Halloween episode. <laughs> We're Actually, going all the, the way to next year. <laughs> this is a Halloween podcast now. This is a strictly a Halloween ep- mm-hmm. a podcast. It's called It Takes All Skeletons mm-hmm. and Ghouls. It takes All Bones. <laughs> but before we get into some of the Halloween festivities we have planned, let's talk. We'll be right back. Let's talk a little bit about what we have going on in our lives. Gavin, how are you doing? I know Good, you're I'm stressed. I'm hanging in there. Finally got done with all my exams this week. Only have one quiz next week, so That's not good. too worried about it. 
Okay. Didn't do good on my pharmacy calculations, but that is okay. Uh, I Isn't went in and had a meeting with a him, stinker. so we're okay. Um, we all make mistakes, and I made a mistake by waiting to the last minute to take my virology exam. So. We all can grow and we all can learn. Yep. So, um, yeah, I'm glad it's over. I uh, <coughs> got a long week ahead of me. Long week full of stuff, so oh. got to find somebody to take my shift on Thursday. Well, you better find them. What do you say? Trick or treat? Trick or treat. No, you say that to me. Oh. Because <coughs> if you don't say that to me, you don't get any fucking candy. Trick or treat. There you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Watch out for the razor blades. What if I just put razor blades in all these just for fun? Whoa. Yeah, no, it's gay. It's gay. It's got gangrene. Oh, I thought you were saying it's gay. It's gay. <laughs> that Kit Kat's gay. Well, Gavin, I'm glad you asked me how I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, how are you doing, Carson? I'm good. I'm trick or good, treat. Man. It's trick been or treat. so trick or treat. Trick or treat. It's trick been or treat. so long since I've seen you, Gavin. Trick or treat. It's been so long since I've seen you. And we only talk. And we, you know, we don't talk. People yeah. don't know yeah. that about us. We do not talk to yeah. each other. Mm-mm. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen you. I the should, only. I eat this. Yeah, I don't know why you did. I just thought about that. Do you want to spit it out? <laughs> You gonna make it through? Just, just choke it down with some water, huh? Well, my only update that I have going on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> only update I have going on in my life that I want to talk about is I saw a girl on the Delmar. <laughs> I saw a girl <laughs> on the Delmar Loop today in St. Louis, and. She had a selfie stick with her phone on it. And I was like, okay, interesting. Maybe she's vlogging. Well, then I overheard her. And I'm like, nah, she's IRL streaming right now. Bruh. And I was like, I- I'd never seen this before in my entire life. I've never seen actually s- someone out in the wild doing it. So then I go into Starbucks and she's behind me. And I'm like, there's no way in hell she's not coming in. So I go in. I ordered a fucking horrible coffee because Starbucks sucks. That's actually something that Christopher would say. He would say that, you know, they're popping up all these fucking Starbucks everywhere, taking all over, taking all over the fucking local businesses. How am I supposed to make my fucking money? So I get a horrible coffee, and then she go, and then she goes up to the counter. Um, so she goes up there and she is ordering with the selfie stick in her hand streaming and the guy goes oh are you blah blah are you doing blah 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 and she's like yeah you want to say hi and then she turns around and the guy working at starbucks says hi and then she goes and she sits down at a table and is like like talking to the stream and like showing them some sort of like book that she got and it was just it was very weird i was saying that the whole time to her so i sent a video of her to our group chat Oh. Did you see that? I did, but I was like, okay. I didn't really get a chance to watch it. I was in the middle of a rehearsal. And? Are you playing something in the background? Sure I am. Okay. If you're not in the mood. I was in the mood for Halloween. Three hour long Christmas songs. <laughs> 13 hours of Christmas. So that was a weird sight that I was not ready for. Yeah, I wouldn't have been either. And you I know, didn't I know that that was a, still a thing. Really? I thought people had stopped that a while ago. Oh, no. People do it all the time. I've just never seen it because yeah. I didn't think anybody around here would do it. I've but seen she it, must I've have been popular because she was like saying, oh, thank you. Oh, hi. Uh. You should have uh, tuned in. I should have asked her, hey, what's your stream? Yeah. I'm about to go crank one out. <laughs> <laughs> going to go to the bathroom to this. Oh, I'm going to go take a shit to your stream. <laughs> yeah. Because it's shit. I'm gonna fucking shit. Exactly. That's the only update that I really have that I want to share. My name is Jeff. You didn't have anything else? Not really. Not really. But what we're here to talk about today is Halloween. So, what is Halloween? I think that's a good segue into Halloween. Into Halloween. No, I really don't have anything else going on. A good segue into. Huh? 
quiz. I already went to the bathroom, though. <laughs> Gavin's falling asleep. So as as Gavin's trying to make a seamless segue, but I won't let him have it. Um, I a seg you a seg a seg you seg me. I have a two. Count them two. Count them two. Halloween trivia, trivias that I would like to do with my pal Gavin over here. Baba boy. You know what? This one I don't need to show you the Baba computer because I'll just read it what to you. What the dog doing? What the dog doing? So I say let's just start off. Does that not sound horribly loud to you or is that just me? What, this? Yeah. No, not really. Can you turn down just a little bit for the baby girls and boys? Yeah, that's per- That's Gavin? That's I like perfect. to be obnoxiously, like, I want to, like... Oh, always. I know. Oh, okay. I'm glad you know that because... So, Gavin, ugh, he's choking. In out. what country did Halloween originate? I have no. These okay. I would like to say all of these questions I'm going to be asking. I do not know the answer to. So we're playing together. I don't see the answer here yet. I will uh, reveal it. Are there choices? No, not on this one. On the next one, there is. Uh, but I'm going to say Germany. I'm going to say because oh, it was. I'm pretty sure it started with. A pagan festival called Sam Hain in Switzerland or something? No. Netherlands? Oh. Denmark? My mind? My, I'm going with Ireland for some reason. So you're saying you're locking in Germany? Yeah, I'm locking, I'm in, locking Germany. in Ireland. Because Germany is really scary. It is scary. Ireland! Look at right. that. <laughs> I'm not cheating, folks. Which Catholic holiday is Halloween linked to? Catholic holiday? Uh, All Saints Day, January seventh. I don't, I don't see. The thing is, I don't know any Catholic holidays, so I don't know. Catholic holidays. The, the Saint Nicholas Day. That's the only one I know. Boxing Day in Canada. <laughs> um, Boxing Day in Chinese Australia. New Year. Yeah. Go. I don't know. A, a pagan holiday. Do with that. S- but pagan that's, day or whatever. But that's a pagan thing. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just find out. All Saints? You're right. Wait, All really? Saints Day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All Saints Hollows Day. It says All Saints Hollows Day. I'm sure, I okay. thought it was Dio de los Muertos. <laughs> de, de, los, de los Muertos. De los Muy Muy Muertos. Uh-huh. Doritos de las... De- Dios Mio. Dios Mio's Mama, der- Mama Doritos Chico. Locos Tacos. Uh-huh. What was the name of Dracula's sidekick? <coughs> Scrappy Doo. <laughs> Why did Scrappy Doo have a normal voice and Scooby sounded like a um Hey, watch where you're walking? Scooby sounded like Roro Raggy. Like he, oh maybe it's just a speech impediment. Yeah. I was gonna say I he couldn't like, pronounce his R. It was like a You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not sense. trying to be mean or say the word. You thought I was stupid. Yeah, but like medically stupid. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just trying Mentally not to say disabled. the word. Yes, yes. Which I, I don't know, but it, he might just have a speech better. What do you think Dracula's sidekick's name is? Draculaura. <laughs> Draculomos. <laughs> Dracula del Muertos. <laughs> Dio de los Muertos. Dila de Dila Draculos Muertos. Muertos. I have no idea. <laughs> what is it? Dude, this is really weird. Renfield. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's your what's who's your favorite Renfield character? Uh, I, I love, love Kramer. I love <laughs> I love Donald Rumsfeld. <laughs> Donald Rumsfeld. But no, do you remember Jerry Renfield? Yeah, I do. Any the show? Famous comedian? What's all the hair doing in the shower? <laughs> what's the deal? Dracula? Why do you got those big old? Why does Dracula have those big old teeth? What's the deal with Halloween? What's the deal with Dracula? You like jazz? You like Dracula? Yeah. This is my blood sucking pal, Dracula. <laughs> Go suck some blood, Drac. Renfeld, interesting. Maybe it's Renfield. I like Renfeld better. But I don't down 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 boom 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 boom. I was right. It is Don Rumsfeld. <laughs> yeah. Donald Rumsfeld, you're right. He's dead, isn't he? He just recently died. Yeah. yeah. In June. 
Oh, wait, I didn't read that. Okay. From which words did bonfire originate? Bonfire. Lighting bones on fire. I'm going to go with that, too. That sounds right. Yep, bone and fire. Wow. How how cool. What does the name Dracula mean? Bloodsucker. Sudblucker. Um, hmm. Dracula. I don't know. Living dead nightmare. Dark. Living in the night. Dark biter. Go for it. Bat blood. Son of the devil. Holy wow. shit. That's kind of sick. Holy shit. Might need to get more into uh, Dracula then. This one goes out to my boy Drac. Why are these all about Dracula? What was Dracula's real name? I want to say Nosferatu, but that was just a different person. I don't know. What is it? I don't know. Something Latin, I bet. Oh, Vlad the Impaler. I thought that was a different guy. Oh, yeah. No, it is. It's a historical figure, but uh, Dracula was based off of the historical figure, Vlad the Impaler. <coughs> so that wasn't his real name. That's just who they based him off of. I don't ever remember being like that. Dracula's real name. <laughs> no, that's bullshit. Who was the first actor to play the Wolfman? Uh, I believe it was... Uh... This is a good All the names that are coming to my head aren't right. It's Lon. Hans I keep wanting to say Lon Chaney, but that's no, it is Lon Chaney. Yeah, Lon Chaney. I was, I was right. Gonna say Hans Delbrook. Hans, De- I don't, who is that? <laughs> it's a reference of Young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein. Yeah. Because who was I? I thought Lon. Oh no, I'm thinking. Never mind. I, I was thinking of something way different. Oh, what phobia means? You have an intense fear of Halloween. Um, it's I know what it is because I did see it earlier. It's like Sam Hain phobia. Yeah, Sam Hainophobia. Sam Hainophobia. Excuse me. Sam Hainophobia. Samanophobia. Sam Samanthophobia. Uh huh. The fear of Samantha. Samantha. Out of which vegetable? Out of which vegetable were jack o' lanterns originally made? Squash. (sighs) Put me on that. Like beans, peppers, (laughs) beans, turnips. Okay, I think I've heard that before. Interesting. Every Halloween, Charlie Brown helps his friend Linus wait for what character appear? Lucy? No. Snoopy? The Great Pumpkin? Snoopy and the Great Pumpkin. Well, it says the Great Pumpkin, but Snoopy's. I was right. Like I was still right. Pumpkin. I was still right. According to superstition, if you stare into a mirror at midnight on Halloween, what will you see? Bloody Mary. Lon Chaney. Your future husband or wife. Oh, fuck. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hell no. I don't want to stay. I don't want to see my Forever house. alone. I don't see anybody. All I see is my right hand. From which region in the world do pumpkins originate? <coughs> America. I'm going to say pumpkins. Somewhere like... S- I think it's America. I think it's the United States. I would say Canada. Central America. Yeah, so the United States. <laughs> well, Central America could also be referring to like in between Mexico and South America, you know? Central America, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The only America I consider is our America. All right. Who wrote the novel Frankenstein? Oh, I remember this, but I don't I know. I should know it, too. Uh, yeah, what is it? Mary Shelley. <laughs> um, Shel Silverstein? Mary Shelley Duvall. Mary... Sh- Mary... Shel Kate, Silverstein? Mary, Mary Kate and Shelley. Shel Silverstein? Shell. Where the cell, where the sidewalk ends. Where the shelly ends. Transylvania is a region in which country? Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't say which one do they rhyme with. Um uh, no 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 wait. <clears throat> I think it's Norway. No, it's not. It's Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna say Come on, dude. Serbia. 
Romania. Oh, that's you what were it close. is. I was, that's, I, that's, I knew close. it was that one. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> yeah. Halloween has its origins in which ancient Celtic festival? Sam Hain. I already know that. <laughs> Easy. Shut the fuck up. Which actor played Dr. Frankenfurter in Rocky Horror Picture Show? Dr. Uh, Frankenfurter. I don't remember. Oh, Meat- I don't know. Wasn't it Meatloaf? Oh, Tim Curry. Oh, I didn't know that was his name. <laughs> I thought his name was Rocky. Is that no, Rocky's the sexy boy. What? Right. You know, so you Tim know who Curry- Tim Curry is, right? No. What? Not off the top of my head. Who's Tim Curry? I can't believe you right now. Tim Curry, who played It the Clown. He was in Home Alone 2. Oh, I see. I see he's, the, he's the best, dude. He's fucking amazing. Yeah. And now he's like crippled and it's really sad. That's what he Is a pr- pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? What were you saying? Uh, that I was gonna, oh, I know him from Clue. That's how I know him. Yeah, Actually. yeah, he was in Clue, yeah. Is a pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable, a Gavin? Vegetable. I'm going to say fruit because seeds. It's a fruit. Fucker. It's a vegetable in my mind. So go fuck yourself. Is it a vegetable or is it a fruit? It says fruit, but I think it's a, I'm going to call it a vegetable. Okay. Because it has seeds. You dipshit. What do vegetables not have seeds? No. Tell me, a vegetable has a seed. Green beans. No. <laughs> okay. What is the significance of seeing a spider on Halloween? Unlucky. I want to say it makes you spit. Makes you bleed. Oh, Jesus! This is a long one. It is the. Th- it is thought to be the spirit of a loved one watching over the person who finds the spider. Is it the Kappa? Is that you? Can't be. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Which country celebrates the Day of the Dead? Sorry, I'm midnight October. Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, you're right. Mexico. Dio de los muertos. Dio de los Guantanamo. Guantanamo. According to superstition, a person born on Halloween has what particular ability? See in the dark. Uh, I got, I got nothing. <laughs> the ability to see and talk to spirits. Oh, that was close. Dun, 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 dun. Why do I not have that hold up? You got it. All right, let's do one more on this one, and then we'll switch to the um yeah, the other one. Really boring quiz. <laughs> you want to switch to the other one? Let's switch to the no, other one. No, go one more. One more? Okay, one t- one more set of ten. What? One more set of ten. Oh, just one more question? Yeah, just one more okay, question. Let me pick a good one. Uh, what? Let's do. Well, How that one's about? easy. Uh, this one's not good. <laughs> this one's not good. Uh, in 2004, the city of Hollywood banned the use of what party item on Halloween? Condoms. Knife. I'm going to say knife. Silly string. California is liberal. And okay, this one has... This is a um, multiple choice. And these ones are just about horror movies. So I'm going to shine through this one, I hope. Yeah, you better. So hopefully it'll tell us the answer I'll as soon as we click on, on it. I'll take a back on this one a little bit. You can just sit in the back. You want to just hop in the back right now? Yeah. What classic horror movie features a serial killer in William Shatner's mask? Now, I know this one. Let's see if you know. Oh, Friday the 13th, that's, that's Halloween, uh, Texas Halloween. Chainsaw. Yep. That's Halloween, yeah. Whoa, hey. That's actually that's pretty good. Cool. I like that. <laughs> All right. Let's keep it. Keep the sound on. This I kn- this one's super easy, too. In which horror movie does the protagonist write a book that contains only the line, all work and no play and makes Jack a doll boy? Repeated over and over. Oh, no, no. I got it. Okay. No, you don't want me to give you that. Child's play. Nope. The Shining, oh. The Ninth Gate, oh, it's The shining. Devil's Ring. It's The Shining. See if we're right. Wow. <laughs> hey. Hey. hey! What classic horror movie was originally titled The Babysitter Murders? A Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, Rosemary's Baby, or Scream? I don't know this one for sure. I'm going to say Scream. I'm going to say Halloween because there was people babysitting in it and there wasn't in Scream. So what do you want to go with here? Go Halloween. Go Halloween. Oh! Hey! Why did That's interesting. 
director John Carpenter originally to call the movie The Babysitter Murders, but producer Erwin Yables thought the story might resonate more if it was based on specific holidays. So change to Halloween. How many people associated with The Exorcist died during production? Three. That's one of the answers, so let's go with it. Oh, fucker. Uh, nine, three, six, or 12? Six. 12. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun. Let's just wait. <laughs> what horror film was the first movie to show a woman in just a bra and slip? Bride of Frankenstein, The Haunting, Psycho, The Wax Museum. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, Jamie Pimples. Nipples. Uh, say it one more time. Bride of Frankenstein, mm-hmm. The Haunting, okay. Psycho, The Wax Museum. Psycho. Yep. That's what I'm going with, too. Oh! All the other ones seem too old. Did you know? This is something I found out recently that I had no idea. Jamie Lee Curtis used fake nipples in this? Movie? Close, actually. Oh, funny. Okay. Janet Leigh uh-huh. is Jamie Lee Curtis's mom, and Janet Leigh is the main character in Psycho. That's crazy. Isn't that nuts? So they're both like horror, like literally horror icons, scream queens as they call them. Well, Ugh. so that means that Jamie Lee Curtis grew up knowing that her mom exposed herself for the first time ever in a horror movie. And then she grew up to do the same she thing. She said it's my turn to show yeah. my... Oh, speaking of which, I forgot to do this on... To give an update on this on last, uh, week's, podcast. last week's podcast. But in the original Halloween, Jamie Lee Curtis's nipples are not in it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were, but they weren't. She's never naked in any of the Halloween movies. Well, then that's a really good running joke that now we have on this podcast. We all make mistakes. We added it in. We, we added, I went back and edited director's her nipples cut. In. Director's cut. Because there is a movie from like there is a movie where nineties where her nipples yeah, are out. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamie Lee Curtis shows her nipples uh, on Glee. Just her nipples. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're just through a shirt. Yeah. They're no, not cut through, out. Not. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Come like on, nipple dude, shirt. What a, hey, what am I? The fucking PC bullies? Yeah, you're right. What color is Freddy Krueger's sweater? I'm gonna let you take this one. Uh, that's green and brown. I have red and green. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's like a really shitty red, though. It's like yeah. maroon. It was a, yeah. It's, it's like a really shitty red. green, too. Yeah. How many people does Jason kill in the first Friday the 13th? 13, 5, 0, or 9? I mean... 13. No. 0. What? In the first movie, Jason's mother, Pamela, does the killing. Yeah, I was gonna. That's I feel like that that one was supposed to be a trick question. That's definitely a trick question. That doesn't make any sense because he, because he, well, I mean, he doesn't technically. That whatever. Fuck that question. I, I had a feeling that it was that he was just fuck that stuck. question and fuck you. Okay. In Scream, what is rule number one on Randy's list of rules for surviving a horror movie? Don't go outside. Don't say I'll be right back. Don't have sex. Don't drink or do drugs. Don't have sex. I don't remember. So. Oh. You're right. <laughs> Scream itself subverts the idea that sex marks a character for certain death. Yep. I didn't know that. Have you seen Scream? Nope. Oh, I love it. It's crazy. I watched, um, I think I watched Cinema Sins. That's how I watch some movies, honestly, is just What's watch Cinema Sins, where they count how many things are wrong with a movie. Oh. And I, yeah, I man, think I watched. Like, that sounds like a real fun time. Yeah, it's like it's basically like a super or it's like a super cut of movies, so it's like just like the important parts of a movie or like really dumb things that happen in a movie. And then it points out why they're wrong. Well and then it tallies a score. That's the only way you get off. Anyway. What horror movie required the purchase of five hundred Florida frogs and a hundred giant South American toads? The frogs I never heard of. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Seems like the obvious answer. Pet Cemetery or Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I know it's not Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Yeah, it's going to be that other one. You think it's Creature from the Black Green? Yeah. I'm feeling like it's Pet Cemetery, but I don't know. No. Not Pet Cemetery? No. Let's go with the frogs. Okay, okay cool. Was, wow, fun. Thanks. I've seen Invasion of the Body Snatchers. That's a fucking weird movie. Super old horror movie, like... 40s? 50s or 60s, I think. Oh, okay. Probably 50s. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. No, seriously. <laughs> because it was during like the Red Scare times and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was the original title of The Blob? A movie I do want to see. The Thing, The Lump, The Spheroid, or The Glob? I think it was The Spheroid. 
I feel like it's the glob. No, not this here, right? It was the glob. Wow, really, really fun. Awesome. What horror movie features a serial killer wearing a mask inspired by Edvard Munch painting? Well, it's obviously Scream. Scream. <laughs> Fucking idiot. What horror film caused some theaters to suggest that patrons prone to motion sickness sit in the aisle seats? Friday the 13th, 3, 3D, The Blair Witch Project, Vertigo. It's Vertigo. I've, no, oh. Blair Witch. I was going to say or Blair Mimic. Witch. Blair Witch. Oh, yeah, you're right, it's because it's handheld. Uh, I didn't even think about that. Sorry. It, as soon as I saw Vertigo, I was like, go fuck yourself. That's the only time I ever really get motion sickness is whenever I'm flying a plane in a video game. <laughs> That's what are you like, saying, flying a plane? I was like, what? Uh, flying a plane like in Battlefield would make me really? like feel really nauseous. I get motion sickness... Uh, sometimes I'll get them on like long car rides. Not really too often. I used to. I used to get it really fucking bad. Yeah, like when I was a kid. There was Woo! this. There was this road that we have to take the, up to our relative's house, and it's just hills over and That's over. That's like over again. when you go to the Lake of the Ozarks oh, or awful. Branson. Same thing. And awful. What in Poltergeist? Have you seen? I'm thinking of Paranormal Activity when we're right no. Poltergeist. But Poltergeist is a great movie. In Poltergeist, what grabs Robbie Freeling through his bedroom window? A water hose, a clown, an Indian, a tree. I'm pretty sure it's a tree. tree. Pretty sure it's a tree. Yep. It's a lot easier to animate a tree like it's that. A lot easier to animate a tree. Well, there's a clown in the movie, so. Oh, okay. Oh, but I know it was a tree because the house is alive with the sound of music. <laughs> How much screen time does Freddy Krueger get in the first A Nightmare on Elm Street movie? Like, not a lot. Not a lot at all. Seven minutes, 14. Three and a half minutes, 21 minutes. 14. No. 21. Three and a half. <laughs> Four. Seven. <laughs> that's crazy. But it makes sense. I, I mean, that's, that's kind of how they that's all how, are. That's how every suspense movie needs to be, but it's not anymore. Everybody's like, oh, I already know what it looks like. Yeah, I agree, but I think it's like... I don't want I, the movie I, to be about him. He's he. It just depends. Some of them, I'm like... I think that that one was one... I, I, I don't know. I just think, in my opinion... Friday the 13th the, is kind of mid... It's, it's a Nightmare a, on Elm Street. Yeah, whatever. I think Nightmare on Elm Street is a little mid. I it's good, but it's still kind of mid. I wish that they show. I wish that they kept him from having screen time in a different way. It just felt like all of a sudden he was just like there. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Because he's all of a sudden he's in the alleyway, alleyway, and you just see him. It's not yeah, like you're, and she has to go to sleep to see him too. Yeah, it's not like you're like, oh my god, I'm scared. I'm gonna see this guy, and then yeah. you finally do. It's just like here he is with really long arms in the alleyway. Yeah. I don't know. I I I don't. Kind of I'm not a movie. big fan of the Nightmare on Elm Street series. I mean, it's fun and it's enjoyable, but it's just like, it's okay. It's not very I've creative. Learned. I'll be honest. Not I think very. it's just it's just a lot. It's just weird. It becomes more horror comedy than like actually supposed to be scary. And I don't know, which is fine with some of them, but I just I don't know. Wish it was different. Where does Friday the Thirteenth take place? Camp Crystal Lake. Yeah, Crystal yeah. Lake. I've never seen that either. I've never seen Friday the Thirteenth. I've seen the original. And I want to see all the other ones. The only reason I know what that them. one is is because there's a movie or there's a video game. There's a movie. <laughs> there's a uh, video game called Friday the Thirteenth. I think. Have you played it? Yeah, I have. And oh, I got and then I got immediately messaged uh, by a troll or not by a troll, but someone who was a tryhard or like a sweat, oh, who was like, and that's why you don't choose Freddy first round or something like, that, or choose Jason first round. You, what? Because he has powers and stuff like that, and they ended up killing me because I didn't. I've, I, that was the first time I ever played the game, and he messaged he me. He got your ass, dude. Yeah, I was like, okay, I've never played this game before. Why can't Michael Myers be killed? He's a ghost. He's just lucky. He's a god, <laughs> and he an ancient druid curse. He's a ghost. I think he's an ancient druid curse. That was he's a ghost. Yeah, he's an ancient druid cursed curse. On what Cam, on Camp Crystal Lake. No, this is Michael Myers. Oh, sorry. God, it's so it. easy to confuse. Haddonfield, him. Illinois. That's where Michael Myers is. What child actress was originally offered the role of Reagan McNeil in The Exorcist? Melissa Gilbert, Lisa Bonet, Dana Plato, or Carrie Fisher? Carrie Fisher. No. I don't know who any of these other people are, so I'll go through the list. It was Dana Plato. Who the fuck is that? She became famous for the role of Kimberly Drummond on Different Strokes. Still different strokes for different folks. Exactly. Oh, 
Which horror movie was filmed in just seven days? Jesus. Halloween, Paranormal Activity, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Nightmare on Elm Street. Pretty sure it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No. I'm going to say, what were the other options? Halloween, Paranormal Activity, and Nightmare on Elm Street. No, I'm going with Paranormal Activity then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street was just too long. Had too, too much many, going on. Yeah, too many set pieces. What was the first horror film nominated for a Best Picture Oscar? I know this one. Uh, I'll just read them. Sounds of the Lambs, The Shining, Psycho, Sounds of the, Lambs. the Exorcist. Yeah. What? No, wait. It was The Shining. Oh, no. Psycho then. No, The Exorcist. Wow, I didn't know that. I haven't seen The Exorcist. But those were probably all nominated, though, at one point. Well, Silence of the Lambs won yeah, I was in say 1991. 90, I was going to say three. 91? I think it's 91. I don't fucking know. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fuck? I, no, you're right. You're right. I know. In the first two Hellraiser films, only seen the first one. Is it's that good, the one with good. Pinhead? Yes. Okay. With Binbed. It's a good movie. With Sinbad. In the first two Hellraiser <laughs> Shaq. films. Shaq. Shaq Azam. In the first two Hellraiser films, how many different actors played Frank Cotton? What? Frank Cotton. Wait one more time. In the first two Hellraiser films, how many different actors played Frank Cotton? Who is Frank Cotton in this movie? I want to say he's the... So, I want to say he's the lover of the main actress who they who he, who he gets brought back to life. I'm going to say three. Buff. Yeah. I'm gonna say, oh here we somebody this and somebody in the first funny. movie, a kid version of him, and someone else in the second movie. No, it's f- it's funnier than that. Sean Chapman played Frank with skin. Oliver Smith played him with no skin, and Andrew Robinson played him in his brother's skin. So he like forms from like just body parts to like a a bloody like gooey mess to like. And then he starts like forming skin and hair and stuff like that. That's bizarre. It's very weird. It's that's but it's a cool movie. Um all right, well that's Halloween trivia for you folks. I think we did that for long enough. That was fun though. <laughs> exactly. Let's see if there's anything else I can Okay, let's move on to this thing right here. Okay, so Gavin, as I mentioned to you, I recently saw Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street 6, uh, which isn't titled with a number. It's just called... Yeah, it's not really going to work, is it? Too big. Too big! We'll put it right here. Can you see it right here? Yes. Because the camera doesn't need to see it, because we'll get dinged for copying, copying the right of God. So I recently watched... Nightmare on Elm Street 6, which doesn't have a number in it. It's just called Freddy's Dead, which is bizarre. Um, And I watched it, and there was this scene that I'm going to show you here that was very weird and made me laugh very hard. So I'm going to give you the backstory on it. So they get into this, like, old house that ends up being Freddy's house because he, like, transforms it into that. And this character named Spencer. Freddy transforms into the house. Freddy is the house at probably at some point. Um, so he, this guy named Spencer is like sleeping on the couch. Then all of a sudden the TV that's broken is like coming to life. And then Freddy goes, Hey Spence, want a trip? And then it starts playing this like trippy music. And then like Spencer gets trapped into the TV. And then Freddy is playing a video game where Freddy's himself and he's killing Spencer in the video game. But everything that Spencer's doing in the video game is happening in real life. Okay. G- make sense? Yeah. So Tons of it. This is what happens when... Uh, this is what's happening when Spencer's... Well, this is, what happen- this is what's happening in real life while Freddy's playing the game. Gotcha. Now, I'm going to have to warn you, I could only find this version in German. <laughs> so, But it doesn't matter. You don't need to hear anything what people are saying. It's just the sounds that you're yeah. watching it for. But I think it makes it funnier. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to show you it. Pretty smashing him. This guy's supposed to be his dad. Spencer's dad. Uh-oh. That's Spencer. 
He's playing with power. <laughs> I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Sorry, I thought I went back. Okay, so. Oh, thank you. Oh, danke. <laughs> Oh, he's getting stomped on. We must get him back. Let's go in his dream. I will get back before he drops. Get back. This is crazy. He's got a magnet in his head. So that's pretty much it. Um, ah. I just found it really funny, and I didn't get it at all, and it made me laugh very hard. Yeah, I'm gone. glad. Wee, yeah. Wee, so if anybody wants to watch that, it's Spencer's death scene from uh, Freddy's Dead, Nightmare on Elm Street 6. So I thought that was really funny. Um, that looks like a fucking terrible movie. It was. Uh, it was weird. It was a weird. Doesn't film. the Freddy guy? Doesn't the Freddy guy? The guy who plays Freddy? Uh huh. Isn't he in every single movie? Yeah. Doesn't he? Robert play, England. Yeah. yeah, he's the only guy who ever played Freddy. Yeah, I'm gonna see. So I watched all the Freddy or Nightmare on Elm Street movies because next week. Actually, we can talk about this real quick. Next week, when this episode's up, I will be at the drive-in because the drive-in that I go to does this thing called Get they call. Away. They call Slash Fest, which is just like where they show Halloween films. Stupid. So they're going to be showing the seventh Nightmare on Elm Street movie called, it's just called Wes Craven's A New Nightmare. New okay. Nightmare. But it's like the seventh movie in the run. And I think technically the last, besides so. the remakes after that. I have to go back. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, I can go ahead. I, I'll, I'll, I can, this isn't, I'll make. I'll pick that mic up just in case it doesn't fall. Um, so they're showing that one first and then, oh shoot. Oh, after that, they're showing a movie called Pumpkinhead, which is like a slasher film about this pumpkin guy. Never seen it before. And then the last movie they're showing, which is a midnight showing is of this movie called Reanimator. So it's kind of cool because they're, they're you know, they're kind of taking the like more obscure horror movies that you don't really see as much. You know, I mean, really anywhere. I mean, I think you can see. I think Reanimator's on this uh, streaming platform called Canopy, which I'm just gonna give a real quick plug to Canopy because it's a free streaming service that if you have like a library membership or if you're a student at a school, you can get it for free. But the way they do it is, you get a certain amount of credits um, per month, and like. Each credit applies to a movie or I don't think it applies to an episode of a show because I think there's shows on there. But there's more like obscure movies that like you don't see on Netflix. or I mean, some, some, of them, some of them will pop up on Netflix and Hulu and stuff like that. But they're, you know, like a lot of old classic films like Nosferatu, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, kind of like weird, not just horror, but just weird obscure movies. Uh, a lot of old ones, a lot of weird documentaries, a lot of like, you know, A24 type films like Midsummer's on there, Hereditary's on there. Like even those are huge movies they're uh, put on there. But um, anyways, just wanted to give a quick plug to that for no reason besides I just I think it's just a great service that everybody should get because it's literally fucking free. Uh, anyway, so, you know, like these movies you don't ever see pop up anywhere, you know, like... I I've heard of Pumpkinhead, and there's it's a whole series actually I believe, um, but like they never showed that one. New Nightmare, I you know Nightmare and Elm Street movies are hard to find as it is, uh, but they do pop up on Hulu every once in a while or HBO Max. Sorry, HBO Max, uh, which they're on there right now as far as I know. Um, but yeah, it's just cool. To see them showing more obscure movies. And I wish I could remember. So at the drive-in I go to, which if you've never been to a drive-in theater, get your fucking ass out to one. There's probably one at least an hour away from you because they don't have them close to you, folks, uh, which is fine. I mean, 
you know, of course, I wish it was closer to me, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. Why am I? Ugh. I really wanted, they showed Beetlejuice a few times there, and I wish I could have gone to see it. Okay, so yeah, um, Wes Craven's A New Nightmare. Pumpkinhead, like I said, and then Reanimator at midnight, which will be cool, but it's going to, oh, I'll get to that in a minute, but, um, so that's on screen two, which is like the smaller screen. Um, how they have it set up is like they have a big screen in the front that has like more parking spots for that one, and they have a smaller screen that's probably about half the size of the other one, but uh, less parking spots for that screen. And so screen two, they're showing all the more like rated R hardcore slashers, even though they're not really slashers. I mean, I guess to, I don't know. I, I guess they are. I don't, I, I don't know pumpkin head or reanimator well enough to judge that. But so then on screen one, they're showing more like movies that are more suitable for younger audiences. Uh, so the first movie they're showing is monster house, which is a fucking awesome movie and scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. I don't know anybody who was a kid and watched that movie and wasn't enthralled and excited by it, but also scared out of their mind. Um, Then the second movie they're showing is Labyrinth with David Bowie. Again, another movie I would love to see, but I just want to watch the other movies a little bit better or a little bit more. And then something I've seen before there a couple years ago, which was my first time seeing this movie, is the Rocky Horror Picture Show. They're doing a midnight showing of that. Um, which would be cool, but if I hadn't already done that before at the drive-in, I would do that, but I've been wanting to see Reanimator, so yeah, it's going to be a fun time. I'm excited to, uh, to go see those films and, you know, yeah, I'm just excited for that. I think that'll be a good time. Uh, I love going to this Slash Fest thing that they do every year. It's a great time. You know, just to get to the drive. I mean, I mean, the drive-in is just great. Like, like I said, if you have not been to a drive-in, definitely go. You know, uh, uh, some my the drive-in I go to is a little bit weird. Well, I don't know. I I my thing is is like I wish they would show more older movies and not. I don't know. See, but then again, I kind of disagree with myself there. I don't know. Sometimes. You know, drive-ins will show more older movies and, you know, kind of, like, cater to that audience. And then, but most of them show, are, like, actual theaters and will show, like, the new releases. Like, this one usually shows new releases. But then every once in a while, like this, they'll, you know, do more classic films and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just going to be fun. This is the uh, third year I've gone to this thing that they call a slash fest, even though I don't think the first year I went, they really had a slash fest per se. Um, but last year they showed, uh, I have to remember they showed Halloween. I think it was Halloween four. And then they showed, shoot, what did they show after that? Uh, Oh, they showed trick or treat from, I don't know, what is it, like 2008 or something like that? Which, I'm not a big fan of that movie. I, I thought it was just kind of weird. I don't know. Some people are like diehard fans for that film. And I'm just, I don't know. Something about it just, it, it, it's just a bit weird to me. I don't know. It, it was good, but it, I don't know. It was just kind of eh. You know, it was cool how like all the storylines match up eventually. But yeah, just not really my, not really my thing. Um, And then... After that, man, I'm really, I'm getting a lot of things mixed up right now. I think after that, they showed Elvira. I think it's called like Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, I want to say, which is a really good movie. Welcome back, Gavin. Um, and yeah, I think that was the last movie they showed. I could be wrong on that too, though, because I don't know. I don't know. I'm like thinking of other films that I watched there, but I think that was something else. Maybe that was a year before. Yeah, uh, Christopher designs movie. yellow sapphire fashion ring. <laughs> Thank God. Let's give it up for Chris. Baba boy. You all right? Yeah. Stomach? Stomach? Your stomach hurt? Mm-hmm. Sorry, buddy. Feel any better now? A little bit. But That's good. Not too much, though. Yeah, you probably like got another one coming, yeah, I'm sure. I feel like there's a third round going. That's what usually happens with me. It's like it usually is like three strikes and I'm out. 
Yeah, then I go to bed. And then I, I literally, because it yeah. usually happens when right, I'm trying to go yeah, to fucking sleep. Right about bedtime. But anyway, speaking of... Speaking of sh- sh- things that look like shit. shit. Yeah. No, I was just, um, while you were gone, I was just talking about the drive-in, because I get really... I love the get drive-in. Get I just away. don't know what that is. I don't even know what you're talking about. There's there's a band that's called... Or that's At the drive-in? <laughs> yeah. Wait. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm thinking of it. What is that, the drive-in? They're like a newer band, right? No, they're old. Really? From like when? What is... Show me that album cover right now. They're not that old, though. They're like early 2000s, right? Yeah. 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 That's not old. Well, I'd say it's new. You like them? I only know this song. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they're like a like a... That's, alternative. So whenever you kept saying I'm going to, or you know I'm gonna go see this movie at the Idrim, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Get away, because in that song he says that. Oh. What the what I'm saying. So I was talking about the drive-in. Really excited about that. Going to that next week, and you know, kind of just talking about horror movies a little bit, getting everybody in the Halloween spirit. But now that Gavin's back, Gavin brought something to my attention last week. Didn't you go again? No. You sure? No, I'm just massaging it. You know. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gavin brought something up to me when I said we were gonna do, or I had a, a surprise taste test plan right for Halloween, and yeah. he brought up candy corn bratwurst, and I looked at him and I said, "What on earth are you talking about?" So I looked into it, and I found out about it, and I was like, "Well, let's talk about it on the next episode." And so I brought up an article about it earlier, and then I started watching this video. And got about like 30 seconds in and was already laughing a lot. So I was like, I just need to like save the rest of it for when Gavin gets here. So this is the video that CNN posted if you want to go watch it yourself. Internet users baffled by Meat Shop's Hall- Halloween offering. Exactly. On CNN, just search up Candy Corn Bratwurst and it'll probably be the first one that shows up. Um, so yeah, let's watch this, shall we? Meat, the latest meat. Meat. See those little orange things in the bratwurst? The bratwurst? It's candy corn. It's candy That's what they're corn. They're selling for four ninety nine a pound. Spooktoberfest. Jennifer Street Market in that. Madison, Wisconsin. The main ingredients: pork, beer, and candy corn. Somebody said that this should be a felony offense, so I don't think I've done anything wrong, though. No. Spooktoberfest brats is what the market calls them. Slightly sweet and not scary at all. Wrong, says this hot dog <laughs> gif. This Wrong. is a war. At this hot dog gif yeah. of Tim Robinson. Yeah. yeah, I think you should leave. At this hot dog gif. Brats is what the brats. market calls them. Slightly sweet and not scary <laughs> at all. Wrong, Wrong says, says this, this hot dog, dog gif. gif. This yeah, is a like. war crime. Certainly not. WMTV morning anchor Tim Elliott described himself as one of the first guinea pigs to taste. Oh yeah. What he calls the Frankenweenie. Oh yeah. I mean, it was good. It was it was uh, salty and sweet. The candy corn actually melts when we they. We gotta heat. Skype this guy in to talk about his experience with the hot dog. Heat it up so it kind of disperses the sweetness throughout. But don't expect the insults to be dispersed. WTF is wrong with the American Midwest. The meat manager at the Jennifer Street Market says they often ex- I'm a meat manager. Experiment with their brats. Brats? We duds. Brats? We did try one with root beer. Uh, root beer? We also tried a loaded baked potato. That did not do very well. The candy corn brats seem to fit right in with Fruit Loops Pizza from Iowa. And even Nabisco has put candy corn Iowa. in addition Oreos. And before Oreos. candy corn brat is the worst, <laughs> brat taste the brat worst. Delicious. Genie Mouse, CNN. I ate a whole brat, the whole thing. I, I, I wanted another one. New York. <laughs> I got to get that for a drop. What? <laughs> I, ate a whole, I ate a whole brat. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Taste the brat worst. Delicious. Genie Mouse, CNN. I ate a whole brat, the whole thing. I I, I wanted another one. New <laughs> Just that. I ate a brat. I, thought, I ate the whole thing. Thought, I wanted another one. You gotta one. get the drop for brat. I gotta get brat. Yeah. Right, I gotta get it one more time. I'm sorry. That's just really funny, though. I ate the whole thing. I ate the whole, <laughs> I ate the whole brat. I ate the whole thing. I would eat another one. Hold on. Let's start from Iowa and even Nabisco. 
has put candy corn in lim- We got the that, intern what, to do that. What, yeah, I was going to say, what they did there was they were like, we're going to need some B-roll of this candy corn. Hold on, can we get the intern in here to do yeah. this real quick The candy us? corn broth seemed to fit right in with what? Fruit Loops Oops, pizza, pizza from Iowa and even Nabisco. Has put candy Sick. corn in limited awesome. edition Oreos. And before you say so this candy too? corn broth is the worst, there? at least taste the broth worst. Delicious. Genimos. CNN. Genimos. I ate a whole broth, the whole thing. I, I, I wanted another one. New York. <laughs> <laughs> what, a t- what a tag for it, huh? Yeah. I ate a whole broth. I, 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 I ate, ate the, the whole thing. thing. I want another one. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Every. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I need my stomach. Oh, man, hurt. that's awesome. Woo! Wait, okay. What's this one? What's that? It's a BuzzFeed article. Oh, okay. Should cool. we get to it? I'm going to click off of it and you're going to see it. So just be ready. Do you remember this book? Uh huh. When you were a kid? Okay. Very, now. very vaguely. I don't think I ever like read it. I remember the other ones. But didn't they make a movie of this? No, that's Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. This is so for those watching or watching or listening, uh, we're looking at the book in a dark comma dark room and other scary stories uh which was a book that was kind of like scary stories to tell in the dark but a little bit different and it was more like uh no i believe it's a different person uh it was rendered towards i'm sorry you gotta go again okay you can pause it no that's fine we'll just i'll i'll i can uh explain it a little bit um which is a book that's like is like scary stories to tell in the dark but it's a little bit different, and I would say it's geared towards kids a little bit more. But in my opinion, it's not really because I think it's scarier with what I'm about to talk about. But uh, obviously, I want to wait for Gavin to come back so that he can talk about this a little bit more because this shit used to scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. Um, and I never read scary stories to tell in the dark. I think I just like I I remember this book, and I don't remember. Or, I don't know why I remember it in a dark, dark room, not scary stories to tell in the dark, but I don't remember why I remember in a dark, dark room so much. Like, I feel like I remember, uh, I feel like we had it in my house when I was a kid. Like, I feel like we owned the book. Uh, I'm going to restart the camera real quick. Usually I wouldn't say that, but since Gavin's not here, I got no one to fill the void. So just a second. Yeah, I feel like we own the book, which is weird because that doesn't seem like something my mom would be very into. Shout out mom one time. Um, but I guess I could be wrong. Could have been something my uh my brother had or something. I don't know. I just don't I don't know where why I remember it. If I remember it from like elementary school or maybe maybe even like at the library or something. I don't know. I'm I'm really trying to remember where I would have saw it at. But I don't remember reading it. Maybe I did read it. Fuck, I don't know. Because I remember the story that we're going to talk about. But I, you know, more than that, I really remember the pictures from it. Because that was the fu- fucking part that, like, it was just fucking horrifying. Or maybe, like, maybe even, like, a teacher read it to us or something. So, anyways, when Gavin gets back, we'll talk about it more. Uh,. But yeah, I never read scary stories to tell in the dark because I think it, I, w- I was such a, a, a scaredy fucking scaredy puss when I was a a kid. Like I did not watch any horror movies. Like I said, like Monster House was like that was like the scariest thing I could watch and like be OK to go to bed that night. The first like scary thing I saw. Well. Yeah, it was, you know, the first scary thing I saw that really, like, oh, man, there's so there's a lot I could go into this, actually, interestingly enough. The first scary thing I saw when I was a kid that was a movie, and it, it was kind of, yeah, it was, like, the first, like, scary movie I actually watched that, like, after that, my parents were like, yeah, you're not watching anything like that, um, was uh, Zombieland, and I, my brother was watching it. And I remember it was, uh, it was a, like a snow day, or it was just like snowy out because I was outside playing in the snow, and I was watching part of it from we have we have at my house, not where I'm at right now, but at my parents' house, 
we have like a sliding door that like leads into our our living room and like I get the you could see the TV from in there. And so I was just kind of watching part of it. I was like, oh, maybe I'll go inside and watch it. And I kind of like watch part of it. And I was like, yeah, you know what? This is kind of funny. This is interesting. And then so I think I like sat down with my brother my brother, and watched it. And I, my parents were there. And they were kind of like, yeah, are you sure you're all right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. This is fine. And then that night <laughs> when I went to bed, I, I just like, I don't know what about it scared me so much. But yeah, I like went into my parents' room and I was like, oh, that just scared me so much. And blah, blah. So from then on, they're like, yeah, you're not fucking watching anything like that ever again. But the things that would scare me the most that like stuck with, like still stuck with me even like to this day to be completely real with you, not in the same way that they did when I was a kid, but like when horror movie ads would pop up on on like YouTube ads or mostly on TV. And one of the, the ones that stick in my head the most are there was one, I don't remember. I don't remember what the movie was. And I wish I did because I do want to watch it because even though I was scared shitless as a kid seeing this, I just remember being like, that's so messed up. But that was also really cool at the same time. And it was like this movie where I think this lady goes and visit. It like starts out with this lady going and visiting her grandma. This is just the trailer. She like visits her grandma, and the grandma says something weird. And then like, then she like flips upside down, and her head like turns around, and she's like you know doing like a crab walk, and she like crawls up the ceiling or something. And, like, that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. And, like, that messed me up for a long, long time. Um, And then another one, oh, another thing that scared me when I was a kid was the, if anybody ever played, Gavin, did you ever play the the scary maze game? Yeah. When you were a kid? Actually, that's the, that's actually the first uh, email I have ever. What do you mean first email? I still have it still saved. What do you scary have saved? Game. The, scary, the scary maze game. Oh, like you emailed the link to yourself or something? No. Um, if you remember our friend Destiny. Yeah. Uh, whenever um, whenever I had got my email, she had sent me that. Oh, really? I'm, literally, I'm not kidding. It's still the fr- it's like the very oh my first God. email in my email. That must have been a long fucking time ago. It was, 2009. Wow, I d- did not have my email for that long. So what I'm talking about is like things that like, because when I was a kid, like, Things used to scare me. Like, I didn't watch horror movies or, like, even remotely scary movies until, like, way later on. Like, Monster House was, like, the furthest I could go with, like, scary stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I was just kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about some of the things that would, like, that really fucked me up as a kid. Oh. That, like, really scared, like, scared me wise. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, that, like, stuck with me. Right. And the one that I was just on was the scary maze game. And also, there's like a YouTube video, a viral YouTube video that was called like "Relaxing Actually, Car was, Ride." It was Tic Tac Toe. Oh, I haven't played that one. But it was 2009, up in the corner. Oh 12, my gosh, 4, this is fun! Oh my god. Uh, yeah, there's also a YouTube video called "Relaxing Car Ride," and they're both the same thing. Where like a scare, the scary exorcist face pops up at the end, and like that completely messed up, messed me up to the point where like I'm just now getting to the point where like I'm ready to watch the exorcist movie, and that doesn't scare me anymore like it used to. Um. And the thing that really scared the shit out of me and stuck with me for the longest to the point where, like, it's still even kind of, like, I'll still think about it too much to this day is there was this movie, and I want to say it was called, like, Mirrors or something like that. And the trailer starts out with, like, this... I just remember this woman. She, like... Oh, dude, like, even thinking about it right now is kind of, like, freaking me out a little bit. She goes to the... Ba- Are you all right? You need to go again? Yeah, I think so. Okay. She goes into the bathroom... And it's, like, late at night or something, and it's just a shot of her, like, in the bathroom doing whatever. And then she walks out, but her, like, she, like, stays in the mirror. But you can see her walk out, but this, like, her self, like, stays in the mirror where she just was. And then all of a sudden, like, that, like character in the mirror like i think like takes her both parts of her mouth and like like you just kind of see her like starting to like rip her mouth up because she like smiles and then does that and then like 
cuts to something else. And like that shit used to like really, really scare me when I was a kid, whenever I saw that trailer pop up. I mean like that really messed me up. And like, even to this day, like when I was just thinking about that and talking about that a second ago, like legitimately kind of like goosebumps weirdly enough from that. So yeah, those are like the three main things that I still think about to this day that like really scared me. And then obviously this book that we'll eventually talk about when Gavin gets back. Um, but yeah, that uh, just stuff like that would really freak me out when I was a kid. And like I said, just like within the past, like <laughs> couple of years, I've been able to watch horror movies and not like get totally freaked out by them. And now to the point where I'm like, I'm actually like a horror fan and like I collect some of this stuff and, you know, but it took me a long time. I mean, until like <sighs> middle to late in high school, I wasn't able to watch stuff like that. That would scare me. Um, yeah, I, I, I just couldn't. I, and, and it was funny because like kids in my in my school and elementary school would talk about like watching the Saw movies. And I was just like, oh, OK. I'm like, there's no way I'm watching that ever. Um, and I still haven't seen this all, any of the Saw movies, funny enough. Um, but yeah, just stuff like that would, you know, I, I just couldn't do it. I really could not do it for a long time until I, you know, got really into it and, you know, got into film and everything like that. And now I love horror movies i love collecting horror things like obviously vhs tapes as you guys see t-shirts um the chucky doll like i I know that chucky's not really a scary film but like some people i know people who like hate the chucky doll and everything like that and i have i have a you know a a replica quote-unquote chucky doll that i have in my office that i'm staring at right now and like that you know that's in my office and i don't have a problem with that like that doesn't for whatever reason it just doesn't freak me out like i've seen the movie i didn't see i think if i if i would have saw uh child's play when i was a kid the chucky doll would freak the fuck out of me like it does other i think that's why other people are like no like how do you have that in your place and i'm like i don't know it just doesn't bother me it just doesn't freak me out like that but, like, most of those people are like, yeah, when I was a kid, my cousin showed it to me, and, I'm like, I, I just can't. Like, it just scares me. Like, if I had, like, an exorcist doll replica, I, I don't think I could have that in my – first of all, I don't know why I would have that, but I, I, I don't think I could handle having that in my place because that was something that really freaked me out. But, yeah, it just doesn't, like, just scare me like that anymore like I thought it would. Um, and, yeah, you know, he, he he's in here and – doesn't bother me and the crypt keeper behind me doesn't bother me even though some people another thing that people are really freaked out by is the crypt keeper um yeah i'm just not you know that stuff doesn't bother me like it used to when i was a kid and you know i can watch movies before i go to bed and not be scared um yeah just i really like horror movies and horror stuff now and yeah I, you know, I'm a, as Gavin always says, I'm a holiday nerd. I'm really into holidays. I mean, I, I'm really into holidays, quote unquote, because it's mostly just Halloween and Christmas and that's it. And it's mostly just Christmas. It's just been the past couple of years that I've, you know, gotten into Halloween as an adult and, you know, doing that differently and having more fun with that and, you know, moving from not trick-or-treating anymore to you know hanging out and watching movies and you know still dressing up obviously uh so yeah you know still have fun with it still like everything around it decorations all that kind of stuff but you know christmas is my jam um which we will you know rapidly move into to be completely honest with you i mean it's going to come up out of nowhere um after this episode pretty much i mean this is you know, this is the last of the Halloween episodes. This will go up on Friday the Friday twenty eighth, right? Which is my brother's birthday, funny enough. I just remember that. Oh no, Friday the or Friday the twenty ninth. Technically, in case you guys didn't know, which all of you should know, um 
our episodes go up Thursday night, usually nine o'clock central time is when I try and put them up. Um, so technically it will go up on my brother's birthday, but it won't be announced until the 29th of October, which is just a few days before Halloween, which is on a Sunday, which will be fun. Um, I don't really have anything planned for Halloween, to be honest. You know, I reached out to our friends. Welcome back. (laughs) There it is. How are you now? I still feel like I got one more. (laughs) Yeah, probably. I know that feeling. Um, My name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. I was talking about Halloween plans and how, you know, I'm going to try and get some of you boys over and we can all hang out and... I'm making chili for Halloween. Yeah, I'm making chili for Halloween. I am making chili for Halloween, which I'm excited about. Love chili. Big chili guy. Big chili guy. I'm going to make noodles and have chili mac. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Of, I was trying to think of something else that scared me as a kid or it kind of messed me up for a while. Um, signs, the movie Signs messed me up for a while because I was scared of. Oh, Signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Animal Shaman movie. Yeah. Um, just because, like, I was. You should have wear that shirt. I know, I should have. But. Just um, guy. Yeah, I was scared of the dark for a really long time because oh, I thought same. that the aliens lived in there because there's a scene oh. where uh, the kid, uh, they're in the basement and the kid um, is I laying is laying up yet. against like the furnace or laying up against okay. like the like a coal furnace, you know, like an old time because they live yeah. on a farm. And uh, they, then the alien fingers like curl around his mouth or something like oh, that. Oh, shit. And it scared the that shit out of me. That fucked me yeah. up. So, I, yeah, that messed me up for a while. We're gonna if you guys do come over for Halloween, which I hope you do, uh huh, we're gonna all watch Hereditary. Okay, good. We're gonna watch that. Okay, good. I'm gonna tell everybody that we're gonna have a screening of Hereditary. Um, which will be fun because no none of the boys have seen it. Yeah, I don't think so. And that movie is fucking phenomenal, but like that is a fucking horrifying movie. Perfect. And it's just great. It's just it's a beautiful movie. They so A twenty four has a, a a web store. Oh, really? Yeah, which I want to get like everything from it. But one of the things I'm going to ask for for Christmas is a uh, it's a script book slash like picture book type thing of Hereditary. Sweet. And it has some like script lines and just like, you know, pictures and whatnot. Yeah. So uh, just like a coffee table, a little coffee table book. So, Gavin, welcome back. Yeah. 20 minutes later, we can finally talk about this. <sighs> Sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. So, in a dark, dark room, getting back to that now, there was a story about a woman with a ribbon around her neck, or scarf around her neck. Do you remember this? No. What? Mm-mm. You don't remember this I at don't all? Think I, I don't think I ever watched it. I, I watched it. I don't even think I ever read this. See, I was trying to remember why I remember this, because in my mind, when I go back to seeing this, I remember it being at my house. Never but I don't remember, I don't know why my mom would allow this book to be in our house, to be completely honest with you, unless like my brother got it or something, which I think is possible. Then I was going to, maybe I saw it at the library. Elementary school. Oh, that's what I was thinking is either I saw it at our elementary school library or a teacher read it to us. Teacher did not read it to me. I But I know I remember this because somebody, why I'm bringing this up is because someone tweeted about it mm. and I was like, oh shit. It just like brought back this whole wave of memories, and I'm like, that used to scare the fuck out of me. Nope. So not the me. story not is not me. I'm not scared of it. Anyway, remember, it's a wonderful story. This is also BuzzFeed, so it's gonna be really fucking stupid sounding. So, it's a wonderful story that also scared me for blah, blah, blah. Uh, the green ribbon, and this is literally the story. It's about a girl named Jenny who wears a green ribbon around her neck. Basically, the girl met some dude named Alfred, and Alfred was like, Jenny, what's up with the green ribbon around your neck? Uh, but Jenny never told Alfred. She was like, you've got to wait to find out. But Alfred kept asking and asking. She even wore the green ribbon around her neck when they got married and still didn't tell him why. And still didn't tell him why. Then they got old, and Jenny got sick, but she still had that green ribbon around her neck. Finally, as she so that bitch didn't even show it to him when they got married. Wow. Like Mother, how, like how yeah. I called her a bitch. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Got her ass. Fucking feminism, dude. <laughs> Countdown to Halloween. Timothy Chamelay is a hottie. Timothy Chamelay Halloween. Timothy Halloween. Mm-hmm. 
Then they got old and Jenny got sick, but she still had the green ribbon around her neck. Finally, as she was dying, she said she could tell Alfred why she wore the green ribbon. And it turns out it's because Jimmy isn't Jim, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. You ever heard that band, Jimmy Eat World? Uh huh. Jenny is an oh, undead no. liar. Oh, Alfred, the ribbon she was said, holding her neck on. Now I can tell you about the green ribbon. Untie it. And you will see why I cannot tell you before. Sully and Kenneth Alfred untied the ribbon. A At story. first of all, it's like, holy shit, Jenny. What the hell? You bitch. <laughs> and Jenny's head fell off. Dude, reading that line and seeing this shit. That shit scared the fuck out of me when I was a kid. Are you kidding me? Don't remember that at all. It was holding her head up? And the black, dude, the black cat makes an appearance and like, that was fucking, sc- dude, that shit scared me when I was a kid, but Dad. Boy, I was scared of my pants, but I was scared of my pants, my dog shit. I had to put one of these on. So I didn't cream. Because I actually, I'm, I'm into like, really crazy sexual stuff where people's heads fall off and you like fuck their heads. Yeah, now you're into that, right? <laughs> I'm into that because of the story. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So thanks Mrs. It's Ab- the Abergale. Pro- it's the natural progression. This is what our this is what our school system is teaching our kids. Exactly. So thank you Mrs. Abergale for making me um explore my sexual desires. <laughs> That was really loud, but I liked it. What's next on the agenda? (laughs) Other than me going to the bathroom again at some point. I'm glad you asked. So before you have to go shit yourself again, Mm -hmm. what are... Do you have any scary stories? Uh, All I know is that the scariest thing I ever witnessed in my life was the big sexy fireman with a big sledgehammer. Wow. Wow. Do you, would you, would you care to? It's too scary to talk about. I can't. Really? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You sure you don't want to? I remember it was like yesterday. It was like, can't, can't blur from out. I was telling this. I was telling this story to all my friends. I we, were sleeping at ca- we, were, we were sleeping at ca- Camp Blur from out. That's too upbeat. Go on. We're at Camp Blur from out and. I started talking about it. Christian went to sleep. Oh, yeah. I do remember this. I was there. Yeah, you were. Oh, shit. What happened? I can't even. I'm, it's coming the back. big sexy back fireman with the big sledgehammer. Big naked fireman with the sledgehammer. What did he do? Big sexy fireman. What did he do? I I can't say. Tell You got to tell me. No, I can't. It's going to happen. What do you mean it's going to happen? I tell this story, it happens to anybody I tell it to. Dude, come on. You know I'm not scared. You can tell me. Uh, you really think I believe that fairy tale? Dude, I, I don't want to lose you, man. Listen, dude. I'm going to be fine. It's a story. It's a fairy tale. Nothing's going to happen to me. Okay? All right, dude. Do you think I'm some kind of fucking chump? All right, dude. That's what you want. Yeah. You want? I'd see like the, to hear the story. If you want to see the big sexy fireman with the sledgehammer. Sure. Oh, sure. I'd love to. Hey, big sexy fireman. If you're listening, I'm here. Come and get me. You know. I'm not scared of you. Dude, it's not funny. I'm not scared. It's not funny, dude. I don't believe in this guy. It's not funny. I. You got to give. It's funny to me because I don't believe it. You got to give. I got to give what? What do I got to give? You got to give. Okay. There you go. Give it to the fucking sexy flyer, flyer man. Dude, it's not funny. So tell me the story. What happened? I'm not going to tell you the story. He fell asleep. What did the sexy fireman do with the sledgehammer? He killed Christian with the fireman sledgehammer. How did he kill him? He chopped his head off, and I know you're into that, so that's not. That's why I don't want to. That sounds kind of hot. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's kind of getting me a woody. I don't. <laughs> you got to put that play safe on. I'm chubbed. I'll put it on right now. I don't want to tell you. I think you just told me. <laughs> I don't, don't want to tell you. What do you mean? You just told me about it. It's not a story that Jedi would tell you. 
Is there another part to the story you're not no, telling it. me about? That's it. That's it. Don't worry about it, man. I'm not. I'm not scared about it. Me neither, dude. That's why I told you. It sounded like you were pretty scared about it. It sounded like you thought you were going to lose me. Like, dude, what are you, gay? No. Whatever, dude. I'm going to bed. So it was... We'll never make it in the acting world. So, a scary story I have to tell that is actually true. Fun fact. This actually happened to me. Like, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not being like, this actually happened to me. Like, what, this, do you, what are you trying to say? Here? <laughs> are you trying to say that that didn't to actually this, happen to me? I'm trying to say this. No, I know that actually happened to you, but I mean, like, I'm not. I don't want you to think I'm making a joke because I want you to understand that this is like a real thing. And it sounds like I'm trying to make a joke, but I promise I swear on the Bible, on the Quran, this is not a joke story that happened to me when I was a kid. This really did happen. And I think I have a feeling of why it happened or how it happened, but I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. So when I was a kid, I used to wake up like super early, like... Very Sorry. loud. Sorry, the pipes in this building. It's an old building, so the pipes are kind of rusty. Friday the 13th. Friday the building. <laughs> <laughs> Friday the building. Freaky Friday. Freaky the Friday the building. So, I used to get up like super early, like butt crack at dawn, like 6 a.m. Don't know where that went. Wish that would come back. Because that was like, ch I chose to get up at that time. I'd mm. get up, play P Club Penguin, actually. usually. Yeah, yeah, actually. I remember Excuse I, would me? To, I would have to struggle to wake up that early. And then I remember waking up early one day to play the Minecraft update. For the pretty scary update, actually. Oh, shit. We can talk about that. But I would get up like super. Right. Sorry. I'm, I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Yeah, I'm all ears, too. Man, that's loud. Pipes are really rusty. Got to get the maintenance people in here. Not so, that not that saga again. Not that saga again. again. There's water coming out of the thing again, by the way. Oh, sweet. But it's just there, and they're going to be like, well, that just happens. It'll go away. So I used to get up super early. Right. <clears throat> and that's scary enough. It's fucking horrifying. I wish I could do that now. So this was when my old room at my house is me and my brother's room. My middle brother, Hunter, whose birthday's coming up next Thursday. It was our room, and then my I oldest... I prematurely happy birthday, Hunter, because we won't... Yeah, exactly. It'll be... This will technically... Like I was saying I was saying this earlier, this, this will technically come out on his birthday, because Thursday night. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway. So, I and then my oldest brother's room was down the hall, my brother Logan. Like, down the hall, I could see it from our room, and this was when our room didn't have a door on it, so we would sleep with the door open. And then my parents' room was, like, in the middle of the hallway, but we, like, couldn't see in it because it was, like, here, what we could see in... Logan's one. And then Logan's bedroom is also right next to the staircase. So, you know, if I could see people come up and go to the bathroom because the bathroom's right across from my parents' room, blah, blah. This will all matter in a minute. So I woke up super early and I'm pretty sure the sh I remember the shower was running. Someone was in the shower because the bathroom door was closed and I could hear the shower. And I just remember being like very 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 still like i didn't move at all and i just remember someone at the very end of the hallway and it was like probably you know probably like six or seven in the morning and you know the only light that you that was illuminating the hallway because there was no light on was from the staircase because there was windows at the bottom of the staircase so the like overcast light was coming through so it wasn't super bright but it was just enough that I could see, like, there was someone standing at the end of the hallway. Like, just, I could just see, like, a figure. I didn't know who, at first I, w I was like, oh, it's just my dad. Like, he's, I thought he was, like, listening in on something, or I didn't know what was going on. But it was just, like, this person standing there. And I just remember being really still because, I like, what I would do when I was younger is, like, you know, like you do the thing where you don't move even though you're awake because you want to act like you're asleep. Because yeah. you don't want your parent to think you're awake or something. or right. 
And I, I, I perfected that trick because <laughs> my brother, Hunter, who we shared a room with, was a big sleepwalker. Like, this motherfucker would sleepwalk on a nightly basis. Wow. And I mastered the art of staying very you still. Masturbated. I masturbated to it, <laughs> to my brother. <laughs> Love you, Hunter. And so... I, I would be really still because I was like, fuck, I don't want to move because what if this motherfucker like does something to me while he's sleepwalking? <laughs> a really quick, funny sleep talking, sleepwalking story of Hunter is, so we had a bunk bed. He had the top bunk, I had the no, bottom. Keep going. keep going with the scary one. But this is, f- okay, f- okay, I'll come back to it. So I mastered the art of staying very still. So I'm very still and I don't want to move because I think this is my dad and I don't want to move because I don't want him to think I'm awake. I don't know why. I don't know why that would matter. So I didn't move. But this figure never fucking moved. It never moved. It just was there the whole time. And it seemed like like an hour went by where this person was just standing in the hallway and I never moved. And I was like, why is this person not moving? And then I don't remember what happened after that. So my thought is I think I had like a sleep paralysis moment. But it just seemed to never end. And I wasn't like scared. Which is the reason why I'm confused why it was sleep paralysis because usually you're scared if you're having sleep paralysis but like I just I don't know I just woke up and that was it and I don't remember thinking anything of it I don't remember if I ever saw who that was I don't I never asked my dad or my brother if that was them or anything and it's just weird until this day I do not know what that was or what happened or anything I will say there was one time where I went up to my my room and I uh, was about to fall asleep and all of a sudden, it sa- it felt like somebody sat at the end of my bed. I didn't have a cat or a dog or anything. Ooh. It was the weirdest. And What'd I you do? I got up and ran down the stairs to my mom because I was like, Ooh. it sounded, it felt like somebody sat at the end of my bed. Like the whole the weight literally went like down on the bed. It was really scary. No I remember, thanks. I remember that that was one really weird thing. But yeah, that would that I oh man, if that happened to me when I was a kid, whoo, that would have freaked me the fuck yeah. out. So that's just a. I think that's literally like. And then another funny thing was that my dad would like run up the stairs really fast some nights, <laughs> and then turn off all the lights, and then we'd have to go and find him. And it was the scariest fucking thing on the planet. Oh, like it was a game. Yeah. Oh, that's it's terrifying. My I remember dad. the first time that he got creative with it was that he like got up on the sink in our bathroom and like it. So he he was standing like right above the the light switch. So yeah. whenever we like turn on this light switch, he was like right there. It was oh, Jesus. I scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, it was terrifying. That's fun. My so dad fun. never scared me because he was like me, and he was—he's a scary. He's still a scaredy cat. He will not watch scary movies. Yeah, like you at all. Yeah, just no, like I watch you. him now. Oh, I'm talking about I have a, I'm a big oh, guy, and I have yeah. a chucky doll in my. I have a chucky doll in my. I have place. a chuggy doll. I have a chugging doll. I'm chugging dolls over here. Um, yeah. So that was you know that's my only scary story. I don't have any ghost stories. Not that I don't think they're real. I, I went on a ghost tour. Yeah. Not really that excited. Did you really? I did. Yeah. Where? The when? The one on the main. The one on Main Street. There's a Main Street ghost tour. Uh huh. What is it to find Lewis and Clark's dog? <laughs> Semen? Semen. Yeah. Exactly. What uh, the fuck? What is what ghosts are down there? Just like you know, like uh, criminals, suicidal people. What do you mean? People who like committed suicide. People committed suicide on Main Street? Yeah, back in the day. Why? Mm, just because. Did they not like Llewellyn's food? No. They didn't like Picasso's coffee enough. They put olives on their trailhead pizza That's and that was not their thing? Not allowed to do that. I would imagine there's probably a little bit of... Was it really people who committed suicide? That was what it was about? Uh-huh. Yeah, one of them was. What? Why, what was the story of that? I don't know. I don't about remember, that. but it was that his body ended up like falling. He like shot himself with a shotgun outside on his balcony and then fell off. And then went in between these two buildings, and now there's like, like a like a old blood stain, allegedly. Oh, yeah. So you didn't see the blood stain. Well, he put like glow stuff in it, so it looks like it was like old blood. No, oh, but it was probably a fake. It was probably just paint. Oh, well, that's fucking stupid. But still. Was cool. this like during Halloween time? Do you remember when this was? It was like two weeks ago that I went. Wait, what? Yeah. I went with my cousin. She had never done it. Uh, I went before. And this was after I filmed the podcast. And I was like, I'm going. I would. I uh, called my dad before I went back to school to see what was going on. 
Oh yeah. And then we went down and got it, went on I didn't a tour. Was a thing. What else happened with it? If this was so recent, we just walked around really. But it was like a tour. I didn't say I didn't say anything really that scary. What did else was what else? Was uh, they took the us to like that that, ba- that uh the Bar Mayo Church, uh the uh-huh. reconstructed one on Main Street. Yeah. They said that like whenever they were like building it, they had found like a lot of bodies and accidentally exhumed them. Wait, they accidentally graves. exhumed them. Yeah, they were like you know building the foundation of this, and then they found a whole bunch of like bodies <laughs> because that's All where right. they that's where the Catholics buried their dead. Was there. oh yeah. yeah yeah because yeah Quinn, said, I remember Quinn telling me about that they would bury saints under churches. Yeah. And so I guess the the church had recla- or had collapsed. So this is like a reconstruction of it. Mm-hmm. But while they were building like the reconstruction of it, they had found like a few dead, like quite a few dead bodies. And on top of that, like found like were they indigenous and, kids? Well, that's like the thing. in Canada. No, that's <laughs> Jesus so Christ. Fucked that's up, fucked dude. up. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just bring that up real quick. Uh, hope, you, hope you don't mind. Yeah. No, that was that was more. Mm. This was more like. Um, so basically, he was like, "Yeah, if you go take a walk around, you'll notice that the that the ground's a little bit mushier than usual, and it it was pretty mushy." Why would it be mushier than usual? Because there's you know human remains under it, like not like like thirty six un- in- inches under the dirt, like it's not that far. But why would that make the ground mushy? Because they're close to the surface, you know. Human remains, carbon, all that stuff, you know. No, I don't know. All right. Well, it's just... It so was, what do you mean? I don't know, dude. He just said the ground was mushy, and it was. <coughs> so I went... And, and who is this guy? <coughs> do I know him? The ghost tour guy? Yeah. What's his name? I don't know. He he wrote a book. It was Carl in, Bismarck? He wrote a book? He wrote a book, and it was in St. Charles High's lobby. Uh, lobby. Pff, library. How did you know that? We told it. it like, uh, I remember... I remember one of my teachers was like, yeah, it's in the library. True story. But you said this was two weeks ago. So how did you how did the how did you know about that? That was years ago. I knew that this ghost tour had been going on for a while. I'd, I'd never seen heard them. of it. I'd seen them on Main Street before. It's on Friday nights, mainly. Every Friday? I think so. Or only on certain ones. I don't know. That's today. <laughs> it went from like nine to eleven o'clock. Well, like whoa, eight, that's long. Well, actually, like eight thirty or yeah, eight thirty to like ten. Anyway. I think ghost tours are dumb. Yeah, it was. It's the Limp Brewery Ghost Tour. Yeah, he had said that um, he also wants to do like a, uh, I think a medieval seance in the bottom of one of the most haunted buildings in He St. said Coast. he wants to do this? Uh-huh. There's like a conference room under there. What a fucking weirdo. <laughs> That's what he wants to do. Was he like, I really want to do a medieval, medieval seance? He's this old dude. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn. Dude, what if we got him on the podcast? That'd be pretty cool. I think he's Should really nice. He's I really think nice. he would do that. He, he also just, every time, uh, well, because of that ghost tour, uh, I think you should leave thing. We just kept saying horse cock and jizz Good. and shit like that. Good. Do I was just these, about to, I, do any of these fuckers? He, you just ruined it for me because I was just about to be like, did you ask him if any of these fuckers yeah. ever jump out of the wall? Yeah, I have a fucking big old. You know what we should do? Oh my God, dude. Okay, first of all, Let's definitely get him on the podcast, maybe sometime like early next year. Let's get him on to talk about it because you know he's not going to be super busy because it's not going to be, you know, he's he probably, might be. He's probably super busy right now, but you yeah. know, we get him like early of the year. No, he, no one I, cares about ghosts in I January. Think, I think he, uh, I don't think he'll do anything in December. He says that he lets uh, Christmas traditions do their thing down on Main Street. Let's, yeah, let's get him on maybe, I, I don't want to do December. Yeah. Let's do, let's, let's talk about it. Let's get him on like January. I'm serious. Yo. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And we then can. we can get him on and we can just be like, you know, like once he's talking about, we can just be like, so like, I just have like a weird question to ask. Like, do any of these, like, do any of these fuckers ever like jump out of the wall or anything? We just like, yeah. just start like very like <laughs> slowly doing that. And we just go like so. Or is like, this an ever, ad- like this is? I know it's like. I know sucks. this is like. I don't know if this is like an adult tour or not, but like, horse cock. If we just go like so like okay, I I know it's a weird question. I'm and I'm sorry for asking this, but I promise that I have a reason why. Did they ever jump out and just go like they just yell like horse? Do these fuckers ever yell like horse jizz or anything? I like have a big old cum shot. They ever like? Did they ever? Like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, that we yeah. All right, that's so great. We need to do that because I think this guy would be into it. I don't know. He, I don't know him, but yeah, he um, 
well i kept saying stuff like uh i also kept saying who's to say <laughs> at the end of it <laughs> what would he say to that no no i mean oh, like, just like i, I would say it to my dad and yeah. then uh i remember one time like i was walking past this he had described like this one building as being like a vaudeville theater um oh that's cool right next to the opo like the old post office across the street from or like next to but across the street from picasso's and llewellyn's okay there's a really taller building okay and um thinner this that was like, a with like the weird rocks out in the front as the sidewalk no that's like okay. the original that um, place is weird yeah i don't like that sidewalk it freaks uh, me out yeah um so here's what we do but anyway we'll go on the ghost tour he eavesdropped on one of our conversations me and my dad's okay. conversations and it was really funny because i was like yeah i just can't believe that that was a theater and he's like can't believe what and I'm like, no, I mean, like, I just can't believe that that was, like, a theater. And he's like, it wasn't a theater. It was, like, a vaudeville theater. Like, it was, like, a small thing. Yeah, theater. Got it. All right. So I just how, how old do you think this guy is? Like, 60-something. Is he pretty straight-laced, or is, like, he able to joke around a little bit? Oh, he jokes around a little bit. Okay, good. Yeah. So what I think we should do is we should go on the ghost tour. You'll have to do it again, but yeah. I, for me, for my first time. Yeah. And then we'll talk to him throughout it, or maybe after it. Because he hey, does, like, you yeah, know, he does seem to like enjoy doing other things. Well, too. he has a book; he can promote that on our famous show. Yeah. No, but I mean, you know, we can talk to him. about, hey, you know, we'd love to have you on our podcast. Would you be interested in doing it? We'll talk about ghosts and stuff. And yeah, he's got fa- he's got a Facebook page. Psh, psh, psh. We don't even need to do a fucking tour. No, I want to do the tour because I want to show him that I'm okay. interested. Yeah. Whatever sounds good. Fuck about you. Anyway. No, let's do it, dude. I'm, 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 I'm all for it. Sounds good. That'd be fun. It would be. So any of these fuckers ever like have a huge cum shot or anything? Yeah. Any of these fuckers like pop out of the wall like butt ass naked? Dude, maybe we can have a seance right here. He might on the podcast. I, I think yeah, that'd be pretty. <laughs> dude, if you've got a, that'd be kind of wild. We could like do the Dougie or something to do it. Do the Dougie. Do the stinky leg. Hey. Um. Wow. We are going on long here. We're going on long. Well, I'm going on long. You've been shitting your ass out. Sorry. Yeah, dude. Tell me again, huh? No, you're fine, buddy. I know you had some bad fuck, dude. Okay. First of all, I need to close my laptop because I'm on 12% and I don't want to die yet. We got one more thing, Gavin, (laughs) that I kind of forgot about until just now. We have a Halloween taste test to do, and then we have our Halloween. What you listening to? So let me give some quick prep. Are you all right? Yeah. No, I'm okay. just looking away so that you can like, yeah. Let me give some quick prep for this taste test we're about to do. So early, I would say late September, you know, some of the Halloween ads start start coming in. You start seeing stuff. And one of the things I had a sponsored ad on Instagram for was from the Brock's Candy Company who makes you know, candy corn and other holiday Bratches. Bratches makes other holiday treats, but mostly candy corn is like what I think of Brock's for. Bratches. And like old people hard candies. Yeah. And it was the most obscure thing. It was a (laughs) turkey dinner candy corn. And then I like I clicked on it and I was like, this isn't real. And then I looked for it everywhere. Couldn't find it anywhere. Literally was like, okay, this is just a joke. Wrote it off as a joke, but I was like, why would Brock's post this if it was a joke? I looked into it as much as I could. Couldn't really get much about it. Literally would look every time I'd go to Walmart, Target, anywhere. Could never find it. So I go to CVS last week. And I was walking to the pharmacy. Not this CVS. It was a different one. And lo and behold, right in the fucking candy aisle is Brock's turkey dinner candy corn. Apple pie and what? I'll I'll read them off in a minute. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up, but just look it up. Uh, Look up turkey dinner apple pie and coffee candy corn, which is apple pie. Okay, this is the interesting thing, though, that I'm about to get here in a minute because this does not make any sense. So it's called Brock's turkey dinner and apple pie apple pie and coffee candy corn. Excuse me? But here's the thing, Gavin. There are four flavors of candy corn in here. Green beans, roasted turkey, cranberry sauce, and stuffing. Now, this is candy corn. 
regular old plain Jane candy corn. But why is it turkey dinner and apple pie, apple pie and coffee? There's no apple pie and there's no coffee flavor in here. So what the fuck is... Why is it called Maybe turkey dinner and apple pie and here. coffee? Maybe there's five flavors. This is the flavors. Oh. Actually, I don't know. You might be right. We'll have to find out. So I say let's get into it. I could not believe that this existed. I was like, this isn't a real thing. I was like, so like, this isn't a real thing. And then I saw it and my eyes lit up like it was Christmas fucking morning. Like it was Thanksgiving morning. And I was like, this is going to be... It smells like raw meat and, it's, <laughs> raw meat and potatoes. It smells like salmonella. Yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I almost just ate them myself just to try them. I say let's go, just because they're so bright green and I know what they are, let's go with green beans, huh? It's green bean, candy corn. It smells, that's, it smells, it smells like sweet. coffee. It smells like coffee. It does. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. That tastes like cinnamon green beans. Tastes like like green bean casserole or something. Oh, no, not to me. Mine tastes like old pumpkins. And you that like is candy corn? Rancid. I love candy corn. That's like that's it was very cinnamon for me. Oh my god. Let's get a palate cleanser. I'm assuming this is probably turkey. I hope so. So this is like a light brown and white. This might be stuffing. Find out. It smells like coffee. Oh, apple pie. Okay. Does that taste like apple pie? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So there is apple pie. Mm hmm. Not, not bad. Not great. So it smells one, like how the mall smells during Christmas. Yeah. Or that's how it, it tastes, tastes like a Hallmark store. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it, smells like, it tastes like candles. So this is a light brown and yellow. This, this might is going to be turkey. This is going to be turkey. Turkey or stuffing. Maybe both. Maybe they're like combinations. No, my fucking god. Oh, no. no way, man. That is really fucking weird. That is straight gravy. That's stuffing. Uh oh. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you know what though? I'm not that grossed out by it. No, that tasted like meat to me. Oh, you know what? It's probably turkey then. That tastes like straight meat to me. It's weird, but like the, what's fucking me up is like the texture of candy corn. Yeah. But tasting it tastes great. It's just a that weird. Does not taste good. I like I like I the uh, I bean? almost like the green bean more. I like the taste of it a lot actually, but it's just so weird to be eating it in that form. Nope, don't like that at all. It literally felt like I it tasted like I had like turkey bits in my mouth. So I'm assuming this has to be. Baby beef. Baby beef. This has got to be like coffee. This is coffee. Co but then where's this the is stuffing? Coffee. Because there's only one more flavor. I know what it is. All right. So this is like Maybe light brown on the bottom, mostly dark brown. This is stuffing. Nope. Coffee. It's like caramel coffee. Yeah. That's good. Not bad. I like Not that. Great. All right. Dude, you could. This is definitely something that you could like wake somebody up with. Like, yeah. you know, you know how people like, like the smell of coffee. Mm -hmm. They'll wake that, right up. Yeah. It's like a uh, microdose. This, what's the smelly thing that they give the heroin overdoses? Narcan. Um, ammonia salts? Narcan. Okay. Cranberry. This is going to be fine. I, I think, you know what? This I is the last one, by the way. I think Save that some one. of this might be stuffing. I feel like it's cranberry and stuffing. I hope not. Cranberry? Mm-hmm. Weird cranberry, though. Know what I mean? That's not a that's not a good cranberry. I really like cranberry sauce. That's not cranberry. I do too. Yeah, that was like, like a, a berry strand. That was like a berry, mm -hmm. like a blueberry or something. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Now I am not gonna advise you to do this. Holy shit! I'm gonna eat. I'm not gonna do that. Every single one of them. Wait, these ones look different though. Uh oh, I think I might have found another one. Hold on. Oh. Shit! Wait a minute, cause this. Wait. <laughs> one of those is definitely the stuff. Stu one of one. these things is not like the other. I forgot about that song. Oh, so we gotta try this one too. <sighs> this is probably this stuffing. is probably stuff. So this is a really light brown. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. It's just the same. 
I feel like that's turkey. No, uh, this is stuffing. stuffing. Yep, that's stuffing. Wow. Dude, that's the really turkey bizarre. and the stuffing are like dead on what they are. This is, you got to keep this. I think, dude, apparently they've been selling this like every year because the lady, so I brought it to the counter and the first thing I was like, I was like, oh man, how am I going to explain this to this lady at the counter? And she's like, oh, you're getting your turkey dinner. I was like, hi, yeah. And she's like, she's like, oh yeah, I got those last year. They're really good. And I was like, what? I'm like, they sound disgusting. She's like, no, they're really good. I really like them. She's like, it really tastes like green beans and it really tastes like stuffing. I was like, okay. Okay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you fucking broad. Okay. Okay, you fucking broad. All right, so. I'm going to get a different one. So what I'm doing here is I got every flavor. I got turkey, I got stuffing, green beans, cranberry sauce, coffee, and apple pie. And you did, you said that there was that it wasn't just all those flavors. And it, it is. It, that's crazy. Dude, I'm going to give it to you. I'm happy, dude. I'm happy that they got... It's just so weird that they list the that's flavors a, up here, but then they have them down here. That's a lot of value for your money. It really is. You get the whole meal. Here we go. So, yeah. got every flavor in my hand. Here we go. Instead yeah. of having a Thanksgiving dinner, just have those. Just have a handful of this. Yeah. Instead of going out with your family or anything like that. Don't spend time with your family. Just eat candy corn. Yes. <laughs> Looking wow. a little green over there. Uh-huh. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, it tastes like you just took, like, you went into your attic and you grabbed an old book. And you licked it. And you just, like, scraped a bunch of it off and just... It was, like, dusty and, like... But it's on Christmas or, like, Thanksgiving. Not even, you're not getting any of that. <laughs> it's just, like, like, like dead bugs and stuff are in it. Like, skin particles. So, don't eat those all together. I just wouldn't eat them at all, really. Just go for apple pie. Okay. You know... You know what would be really funny? On Halloween, bringing this out. If we have people over, you know I'm getting everybody to try these. And those other things that we tried at another yeah. time that I won't mention. Um, wow. All right. Whew. You know what, though? That's a good finale because, you know, the seltzers, the seltzers were gross. They were interesting enough. I, I didn't mind those. Yeah, those I weren't didn't that either. bad. But this is different. I do not like That's the turkey horrible. one. Like, fuck off with the turkey. Absolutely. I don't like it anymore after eating a handful of that because that's all I have in my mouth. It's like fucking beef boil. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely not. Woo! I need a chaser. <laughs> I mean, we have a Kit Kat. Absolutely. Oh my god, Miss Molly. That was terrible. That was fucking horrible. That I would honestly almost prefer to eat the Jelly Belly ones, like the Jelly Belly. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Skunk I'd rather, spray, I'd the ra- vomit one. Well, I mean, I'd I- doze and eat a fucking turkey dinner. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Some of those aren't bad, but I will say the spicy ones were really bad. They were all. Oh, dude, I forgot about the spicy ones. Yeah, those were really bad. We're done with that, though. We're not doing that anymore. Yeah, that's a shame. That was the last year. <laughs> no, it's we not. gotta do that <laughs> instead. I could. Kidding. Those aren't that bad. They're not that bad, but. I That's encourage horrible. you to try them because they're it's interesting. It's like, I it's kind of neat to see how much chemistry you can come up with different That's flavors. Great. You know what? I need to get my brother to try these. Good idea. Flavor Did chemist. you have him to try the? No, seltzers? I haven't yet. No, I, I need to. I need. He, knowing him, he's probably already tried them. Knowing him, but this I doubt he would know about. Yeah, I didn't. So know about I'm gonna. It. Yeah. This will be a fun time for the holidays. And I'm incredibly online. That's true, dude. It was just like a sponsored ad. So weird. Never heard of it. It's probably because you were you had bought all that candy corn from. That's true, and they were tracking me. Those NSA fuckers, Joe Biden. So they'll probably have a surplus of these at CVS if you want to get them and try them. I don't try and get them at Target or Walmart. I didn't see them. CVS, I bet Walgreens has them. Those seem to be the main distributors of Brock's. Brock's. So Gavin, to wrap up this, this. It looks like we're probably going to be going on two hours. That's okay. Possibly. No, I don't have a problem with that. It's Halloween. <laughs> it's Halloween. It's one of one of the good ones. It's one of the good ones. Oktoberfest! Even though it's in September. Bang. 
This is for all my bang. This is all for all my gang bangers out Piss there. Piss out. Piss out. So tell Uncle Rico not to wait up for me. <laughs> so so Carson. Gavin, what are you listening to this week? I'm listening to. Well, Gavin, as you know, I for the last five episodes now. For the last um, five. One, two, three, four, five. For the last five episodes now. Count them five. Count them for me, please. Give me a no. Give me a one, two, three, four, five, please. On the soundboard, give me one, two, three, four, five. Four. Five. For the last five episodes, I have been recommending what I would call Halloween-adjacent music, horror soundtracks, other music that I just kind of listen to around Halloween, stuff like that. So if you want to get in the spirit, listen to the last five episodes, really get you in the mood for this last episode, get you real horny. So I think there's only one way, Gavin, that I can end off this string of Halloween Excuse me, throw goblin. S- music suggestions. And how do you think I'm going to end that off? What Joe do you Biden. think my Joe. Halloween, what do you think my Halloween special music suggestion is going to be for what you listen to? I think it was has to do with the movie Halloween. What do you think it is? The Halloween Kill soundtrack. No. <laughs> the Halloween 1978 soundtrack seem real excited about it and i do appreciate your excitement oh yeah dude that sounds awesome i can't wait to i listen know to this. right so the halloween i am listening to the halloween 1978 soundtrack there is no better way to end off this string of halloween music so you've got to end it off with the fucking classic baby girl michael myers coming in he's fucking killing your ass with the michael myers with the Michael Myers. So, 1978, the original Halloween movie, which is a certified classic horror film starring <laughs> Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan. Crazy, crazy, crazy Friday. killer, Michael. Crazy Friday. Friday the 13th Halloween. Mm-hmm. 1978 13th, Halloween. Freaky Friday the 13th. 16 Candle Friday. Halloween from 1978, starring Jamie Lee Curtis mm-hmm. and some other people. <laughs> some other people are in it. Directed by John Carpenter. Uh, it's just a classic movie. If you haven't seen it, Gavin hasn't seen it, maybe we can put that on for I Halloween. remember, I know the soundtrack for it. <laughs> it's so good, dude. <laughs> it's so it's good. so good, dude. dude. Actually, to be completely honest with you, I don't like any of the there's, songs. <laughs> there's three songs that are the most notable on this soundtrack. There are three songs. There are three songs. And the reason I say that is because those three songs are used in the other songs. Like they're all just reprised throughout the soundtrack, which is fine. But if you're gonna if you're like, I don't really want to listen to a whole soundtrack, listen to Halloween main theme. Everybody knows that. Lori's theme. And I think my personal favorite I would say is um shoot i just oh michael kills judith that one's really cool i'm gonna play the first part of it judith because you might not have heard this one but i love it michael kills judith i just love that hit isn't that cool here i'll play it again wow eek see even that's a reprise of Lori's theme because that that's Lori's theme. That's like in every single song. Or the Halloween main theme is every single song. But yeah, I, I those are the three songs you should listen to. So Halloween main theme, Lori's theme, and uh, Michael Kills Judith. Are Michael Kills Judith. Judith. God, dude, that popping I'm is sorry. extra bad today. We're not even moving anything either. No. So that's what I've been listening to. It's just a great soundtrack to listen to around the Halloween weens. And that's what I'm listening to, Mother Frickers. Happy Halloween. I will never, well, until next Halloween, I will not be suggesting any more Halloween music. Um, so that's it. That's the way I'm going to end it off with the Halloween 1978 soundtrack. Gavin, what are you listening to? Because you are joining me on this Halloween ride today. I with am. two suggestions. Let's see if you remember that you were going to suggest two. Oh, yes, I do remember. Ah, there he is. 
Um, so first one I'm recommending is the oh, hereditary. I'm knitting a sweater. Is sorry, <laughs> that was a really bad time to interrupt. Is the hereditary soundtrack? Ooh. I haven't seen the movie, but that's the song that got me into it because uh, there was a TikTok about it. There was a TikTok with that song in it. A lot really? of TikToks with that sound sound in it. I am trying my best to make that popping sound stop, but there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you want me to unmute it. Um, you unmute no, it? I don't need to. Um, I don't need to. Anyway, I listened to it uh, while I was studying uh, and, uh, two Which years is, ago. I could not. I, well, I actually did do it. You told me to do it. Very good. I very much enjoy it, and it's kind of nuts. It. So if you when you so it is one of the scariest things just to listen to because I yeah. was listening to it for one of the plays that I was in was She Kills Monsters and I was mm-hmm. trying to listen to the songs in there like listen to a whole bunch of soundtracks mm-hmm. I was listening to Interstellar and like Good all one. these other ba- other other bands other bands other movie soundtracks so yeah and it's funny because you told me about the soundtrack and then I listened to it so I also listened to the soundtrack before I ever saw the movie and I was like this is awesome this is amazing yeah it's insane. And when you see the movie, it just goes along with it so well. I mean, I I don't know much about the guy who scored it. I forgot Colin what his name. Seltz, Col- Colin Stetson. Yeah, I don't know anything else he scored, but like, it, it's amazing. And it's unlike anything I've ever heard before. I mean, it really is. And like, he had you done. Know, if I make music eventually, which I hopefully will, you know that that soundtrack really has inspired a lot. Yeah, I mean, me. he's scored. I don't, I don't even know. He's made his own music, I think. Okay. Anything notable, though? Like any other soundtracks you see? That's what I'm looking for. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. La Fonda. Uh, Mayday is a new movie that came out soon or came out Never recently. Um, he just released this this month, October 1st. That's he's He scored that movie, too. Happy Halloween. Um, and then the second thing i'd like to recommend is fire on high by elo electric light orchestra um i'm gonna it starts out very creepily no i'm not gonna play any of it oh okay i just i had accidentally clicked on it oh you're fine it's on their uh 1975 album <laughs> slash ep uh, album i guess it's eight songs called called face of music nice. fire on high is the opening track to it so it also has uh, Evil Woman, Knight Rider, Strange Magic on it. So, all three, of, all f- three of those songs are also really good. It's like um, Evil Woman, oh, I've heard that song. and then there's uh, Hold On, You're a Knight Rider. Oh. Hmm. Uh, and then, and then one. Strange Magic is like. Ah, Strange Magic. Bum 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 bum. Got a strange magic. Bum, 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 bum. I can play it after this, but that's the best way I can show you it. Yeah, and I found out last week, whenever you were s- told me you were going to suggest this song, that you were a uh, big AOL know, fan. Yeah, and I didn't even know that. Yeah. I was thought it was really cool to find that out. So, um, and I Fire on High really is really cool. Fire on High starts out really creepily, and it's like, it's and that's like crazy. It's the opening song yeah. to the. To the app, EP. Yeah, that's the whole nuts. EP is great. I think I posted it once on like one of my second accounts. Never saw it. Um, very good, and just yeah. a great listen. That's definitely making it into my rounds for my Halloween music. For yeah, cause, sure. Because it's just like it starts out so creepy. And yeah. what's nuts is that they what they had to do for that was they actually you know it's, you know how now you can just click click something just reverse it now they actually yeah. had to like reverse a tape play it in oh, reverse cool. and then like record like i'm sure the recording of anything oh. elo was insane because it was a 70s yeah but even more insane because they did all this overlaying overlaying stuff like it wasn't just like as easy as just adding another track on and like um what's the what's the uh, bah, bah, bah. i was gonna say fuck pro um, pro manager ableton That's uh, one the apple one. Oh, garage band <laughs> Yeah, I guess GarageBand, but there's another. Uh, maybe it is GarageBand. I think it is GarageBand. Never yeah, mind. It's I mean, just GarageBand. Yeah. Yeah. What? what uh, any recording. Yeah, any recording software. thing. It's not as easy as just adding another track. They actually had yeah. to like m- physically make a whole another yeah. track, which is crazy with all the overlaying stuff that they have oh, there yeah. and making sure the recording was good. And anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure they probably had to take that one take because they had to play that whole tape 
in yeah. reverse, then that overlay, then the guitar, you know, I couldn't even or imagine. splice it at least, uh, you know, actually cut the tape and start yeah. playing it. Anyway, um, cut twice, measure once. Yeah, cut. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Or cut, it's measure cut twice. Once. Measure twice, cut, cut once. once. Uh, yeah. So just a great Halloween song, great creepy song. Uh, in the meantime, um. Anything else you'd like to add, Carson? I apologize for my, uh, I guess... Leaky bowels. Leaky bowels or IBS or some shit. I don't know. I'm not <laughs> no, actually diagnosed with anything, but... You got a bad tummy. I, I got a it. bad tummy, I but... And I have the shit I have the shit apartment, I guess, huh? Tr- you would really do. Yeah, apparently. How many times do you poop a day? Like three, usually. Bow. Wow, that seems like a lot. <laughs> I poop once on average. It's one to three. Sometimes two. Depending. Depending on if I finish the first time. Did you pinch it off and save it for later sometimes? I, sometimes I feel like I do. I do feel like I prematurely do it oh. sometimes. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes you're not supposed to, like, push it out, you know? Yeah. Well, because you don't want to hurt you. You don't want to. And yeah. you've had one of those. I have had one of those. I remember uh, my brother had a, he had a baseball game. He had a pop it? He had a baseball game. I remember, like, having to sit down in one of those chairs and had a hernia. He had to pop your hernia? No. Isn't that how that works? No. I don't know. Yeah, you can. Oh, Trust me, dude. I'm a movie guy. I'm into the movie world. All right, anybody. My computer died, so we're going to... Can you play like a deep version of it, like a scary version of the outro song? How scary can you get? Play something really like low. I like that. I'm just gonna hold this. It's it's a key. I'm just holding a key. Wait, why don't you play this? I thought you could change the key of the sound, the the outro song. I can, but it doesn't get any creepier. Really? It doesn't yeah. get deep. Like how deep can it go? That's what I mean. It goes E minor, A minor, D minor, G, C, F, B flat, D B diminished. Wait, play that one. Hold on. Sorry. No, you're fine, dude. We gotta get it right for Halloween. <laughs> oh, it is this. Yeah, I like it. Well, folks, we hope you all have a happy and safe Halloween this year. We will be back next week in November for a regular episode of the It Takes All Kinds podcast, Halloween on Thanksgiving is themed. On Thanksgiving <laughs> themed. Get your turkey dinner. Get your turkey dinner. Get your turkey dinner and get and have a good time. Um, yeah, we hope you guys have a happy, safe Halloween. We hope you enjoy this spooky episode. And um, anything else you'd like to add to that for Halloween? Goodbye. Goodbye.